Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetechforteachers.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can use Riddle.com to create polls and quizzes for your website. So let's go ahead and get started here. And I'll just sign into my account. And here in my dashboard, we'll have our list of options for tools that we can choose from. One of the neat things that they have down at the bottom here is called a commenticle that, allow, that allows you to import an article from the web and then gather feedback about it in the form of a poll. Uh, so what we're going to do here is just a simple opinion poll. I'm going to put in a cover image. So I'm going to select my intro and then upload an image. I'll just use a picture of my dog here. And our poll title will be, are you a cat person or a dog person? Now let's go to option one. And again, we can upload an image. And so I'll upload another image here. I'll do a picture of a cat. And we can say cat person. And I'll do option two. And we'll upload another picture. And again, I'll upload the picture of the dog. And we'll call it dog person. And then we'll do option three, which is both. Now, if you have an image of a cat and dog on your Facebook account, you could import that, or if you wanted to do a stock image search, you could do that. Um, but for now, let's just leave it as blank, and we'll say both. Now I'll click Next. And so there's our poll. This is what it will look like to anyone visiting it on the web. Uh, cat person, dog person, or both. We can play around with the color scheme a little bit if we want to. Let's play around with our font if we want. Now let's go ahead and publish this. And so you can have people take your poll in a lot of ways. You can get them to just simply go to the link that's assigned to your poll. You can share it on Facebook or Twitter. Uh, you could also embed it into a blog post or website just by copying that code that's provided and then pasting it into a blog post just like you would do with a YouTube video or any other third-party content that you're going to display in your blog or website. So that's riddle.com. Nice way to create quizzes and polls to display on your blog or website. And for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com.